Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time we're talking about distributed computing. And I'm going to open with the statement of you can save lives just by leaving your computer on. Now, you may have seen adverts on television or in newspapers or things like that that say please donate a certain amount of money per month um, to help us research for cancer and things like that. Uh, there is the possibility that you can use, you can do this um, on your computer for free and use your internet. Now obviously I encourage you to um, donate to these charities but you can also make a difference by just using your computer. So how does distrib distributed computing work? It basically is a program that has several parts that can run on more than one computer simultaneously. So if you can imagine a big program that is sent out to loads of different computers through a download on the internet where it can run on those computers and it all works as one. So um, the distributed computing, there are several projects that are on the internet for di distributed computing. So you've got things like biology. This is on a Wikipedia page. Um, you can try any of these out yourself, I believe. You just download a um, component which runs in your, in your taskbar. Um, but I'm going to show you the one that I'm currently using at the moment to make a difference. Uh, these are ones that are active, you've got ones that are active, ones that are upcoming and you can see there's loads of different things that people um, have come up with that can research in things that help the community. Um, most of them have at home on the end you'll notice so that means that you can use it at home. Um, so you see like for the first one Africa at home, South African humanitarian and health problems so you're helping saving lives. Um, it's a really important thing to do and I strongly suggest you do this. Um, but the one I'm using at the moment is, uh, I'm not sure if it's on here, it's folding at home. Uh, it doesn't appear to be on here, which is strange. Uh, either way, um, one I'm using is folding at home and this is one of the most popular ones, so I'm, not, I'm surprised it's not on here, but it's one of the most popular ones where basically I've got a, a, just a quick brief thing here. It, it, it re it's about protein folding. Um, now I don't know too much about it, but it's something to do with amino acids folding and it causing diseases. Um, so what happens if proteins doesn't fold, don't fold correctly? Diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, cystic fibrosis, BSC, an inherited form of emphysema, and even many cancers are believed to result from protein misfolding. So obviously we've got to try and research to stop this from happening. So. It's, it takes more than one computer to do this, or one supercomputer to do this, and most homes now have a computer, so everyone can make a difference. So, to help with this folding at home project, all you do is do click the download link, and you can choose your own username, and some people use this as a sort of a competition, um, which, which is fine really, because it, it's just to set, people like to say, well my computer is faster than yours because I can do more. Um, more with this software than you can so again um, that's fine to do because I mean you're still helping with the project um, you're, and the more you can do the better so yeah you just download the client here you got a choice of a graphical or a text only I think the text only works slightly faster but I use the graphical um, and yeah, once it's downloaded you just install it and then type in your username or something and you'll be greeted with this um, folding at home display and you'll notice that there's a um, folding at home uh, website thing here and it says my this is my donator name which is effortless my team number because you can make teams so you can have um, like if you have a, if you belong to a forum or a website or something then you make a team and then you all contribute all your computers and then you can see each other's and see how much um, uploads you've done because what happens is with this program um, the main computer or server sends a small piece of information to your computer which has several things that you can work on. As you can see, I'm working on pieces or whatever that is, Gromax Core. And you'll notice that this is changing every time I'm moving my mouse. I think it's just because the screen recorder is making it um, move. But you'll see it's working on these molecule things here. But it'll, it, that, the main server sends stuff to your computer to work on, and then you send a small piece of information back on the codes that you've found that that help with the project. It's hard to explain, but if you can understand it, it sends stuff to your computer, your computer works it out and then sends it back. 
So as you can see, I've, I've only just started this. Um, it took about half an hour to actually get going with this whole graphical thing here. Um, and you'll notice it says frames completed 15 out of 1500. Uh, 1 minute 51 seconds of frame. Yours might be faster depending on your processor speed. And 24 out of 1500. And my work upload, so it's going to do 1500 frames, which is downloaded from the server to do. And then once it's finished, it's going to upload all the information I've done at on Friday, 22nd of February, which is tomorrow at 6 o'clock at night. So that's one day and 20 hour, 21 hours away. So this is folding at home. Like I said, there's several other um, things you can use, uh, several other projects that you can belong to. And, uh, and if you can join your own teams, you have the uh, opportunity to have team statistics. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to, yeah, that says stats update in progress. Um, so you can also go on a third party one. So I'm going to go on Kakao stats. And you'll be able to see uh, once it loads up, there's team ranking. You can see that there's absolutely loads of people that have done work uploads. I think this, these um, mean work uploads. You can see people just working on the folding at home have done 17 million uploads in total. Uh, default Google, Hard OCP, these are all websites or teams that people have put together. And you can see that they've done loads of uploads to help with the project. So obviously the more uploads the better. And you'll notice you'll, you have rankings so it becomes a competition where your team tries to get the most rankings. So people that overclock their PCs and make them really quick and things like that can participate in this. Um, I have seen some people say that they've overheated their computer by putting it in high priority because um, you can in the options choose from high priority and low priority because you may think oh this is going to slow down my PC so much well it's actually running in low priority so when you're idle it comes into play and starts doing stuff but um, it's in lowest possible at the moment uh, CPU usage um, the above option instructs only to use a certain percentage of the processor available to it. Work progress, progress as quick as when it sets home, 100%. So um, when my computer is idle, this will just work away. And um, so when I'm away from the computer or if I get asleep or something, leave it overnight, it will work away and send the work upload. And it helps towards the community and to help saving lives. So um, if I search for mine quickly, I belong to the JCXP, which is a Windows... Um, forum and you can see where our current rank is 1945 so we've done about oh, it looks like uh, seven days total 8,000 um, okay well I'm not sure I think this is just how many uh, total team points oh this is points so you get points for um, this is an upload you get this is points that you get for uploads so with JCXP if anyone can explain this a little bit better <laughs> than I have and you can see all the people in my team from the website have got all their PC some people have got more than one PC and they've installed it CC Dragon 042 Delta Gamma Beta Beta even and um, you can see my one's effortless down here so I'm 11th I mean I haven't ran this for too long I've only just started doing it again um, effortless my team rankings 19th um, project ranking and let's go that and then my total points is 979% which is 2.52% of the total of this team so obviously I haven't con contributed a lot and Zeus is at the top um, so it's best to just leave this um, leave this client running and it will help um, cure diseases and things like that because everyone needs the research and if you if your computer is fast um, then by all means start doing it and you'll find that you'll feel better about yourself because you're helping um, save lives and researching cancer and things like that. So this is Distributed Computing. That was Folding at Home. And uh, thanks for watching my video. If, you, but have, if you're one of the top people on here, then leave a comment if you know another um, good uh, project that's worth um, donating to, then please let us know because um, instead of donating money, we're donating our processor so yep leave a comment rate and if you like my videos then please subscribe thanks for watching